Okay, so today we are putting on our shoes. <laughs> so we are here. Zoe gets to go shooting today. So um, I wanted to make sure that I am doing what Dante would do for Zoe and teach her how to protect herself. So, um, if you knew Dante, um, he was always prepared, like, oh my gosh, like, it's a tornado watch. Why do we have helmets on? Why? The sirens haven't even gone off yet. Hadn't even gone off. Then we were always prepared for the zombie apocalypse. I mean, like, literally. So he was always wanting to make sure that we were prepared for anything. So um, he he did take me at one time to uh, get my, my license to carry. But guess who didn't send in the paperwork? So I still don't have it. But you know what? Texas, you don't need it anymore. That's what we do. That's what we're here. We're learning how to handle and take care of handguns. Be safe as possible using a handgun. Learning the techniques, the proper way to hold it, the proper way to shoot it, the proper way to take care of it. And our friend, our family friend, Uncle Joe, <laughs> Joe Fuller is um, going to be leading the class. He has a um, company called Warrior Mindset, and he has beginning, um, intermediate, and advanced courses. I'm advanced. She, she's never... I played a lot of games of Call of Duty in my life. So, um, we have some other friends and family joining us from the two tiers in the bucket list and huh? all of our fans, all of our family, well, I consider them family, okay, yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> so, we will see you soon, peace out. Is okay, that money got long. Ain't on my soul that fed my hunger. Short little flame, yelling my name. Gear bikes done, drove me insane. Gang on gang, you bang that name. That whole damn complex hate my name. I keep shit short, real cheesy low. Set sail and I rock slow. Sip the sips and I got that dough. That's all I'm about. Hold up, bitch, better watch your mouth. Took that blueprint, made my house from couch to cloud. My speakers bounce. How important it is to know the rules about carrying a weapon, when and when not to shoot or shoot, don't shoot classes. Also, um, I want you guys to be, I want you guys to feel good about going to a gun range because that is the, the biggest thing is if you don't go practice, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do any good. So I want, whenever we leave this class and we go to the gun range, you'll see how going into the gun range, what you do. So it should not be intimidating um, the next time you go, meaning, the next time you go, mm -hmm. you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Right. so yeah. Yeah. You, uh, like you girls make it fun, go with each other and, and hey, let's go shoot today. Let's go knock off 50 rounds. And uh, um, then you'll walk in the gun range like you own that sucker and you'll be like, Shh, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Okay. And so you won't be intimidated. And that's the biggest thing with a lot of people whenever they go to the gun range, they're uh, intimidated going in. Even myself, whenever I go into a new gun range, you know, all the testosterone in there, you're like, you know, I walk in like this, and then when I'm, as soon as I walk in the door, I'm like this guy. I'm like, Phew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you're like, where do I sign? <laughs> and they're like, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we'll start the class. This is a warrior mindset, beginner handgun license, also referred to as Irving Combat. 
urban meeting. We're in the city, we're in the town, combat. And that's what you guys are gonna be dealing with uh, most of the time. And as a female, there's different ways to carry a weapon. Um, I would highly suggest if you don't have a weapon after this class, hopefully you guys will feel more comfortable and will want to actually purchase your weapon. Um, and then also I do offer the license to carry once you get that. However, the law does say that you do not have to have a license to carry to carry anymore. You have to be 21 and older to carry a weapon. Uh, but with that being said, there are a lot of uh, perks about having a license to carry. Like one of the biggest perks is knowing the rules and not going to prison because you're just like, oh, look, I'm 21. I'm going to carry the gun around, you know, and, and not yes. really knowing what you're doing. And uh, <clears throat> we're also going to really get in depth with the shoot, don't shoot concept. When can I shoot? When do I not shoot? What are the consequences if I shoot somebody? Maybe if I shoot somebody and it was a good shot, a good shoot. I mean, heaven forbid we ever have to shoot anybody. Trust me, I do not want to shoot anybody ever. So that's the whole deal. We're going to talk really in depth about shoot, don't shoot. When do you shoot? When do you not shoot? And that's not going to be me teaching you this. It's going to be me helping you open up your mind and think about it because it's up to you when you shoot and don't shoot. It's not up to me. So whenever you feel your life's in danger, but we'll go over that. All right. So treat every firearm as if it was loaded. So even though I have these firearms sitting on this table right now, and these firearms are clear, he and I both looked at these firearms. These are both my firearms. They are clear. If I was to point this at you guys, I would feel really weird, even though I know for a fact, for a fact, 110% sure, there is no bullet in here. I will never point this at anybody unless you're willing to destroy that target, mm -hmm. right? So, so no matter what, always, even though you know it is clear, dozens of people are shot and or killed by guns they thought were unloaded every year. Yeah. Dozens and dozens. That is correct. We're also going to talk about that as well, about uh, about gun safety in the homes and, and for your family, for your for your husbands, for your uh, for the kiddos or for any grandkids, anybody. No. Never, ever, ever point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. And that's what we just discussed. We never point a gun at something we're not willing to destroy. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire. That means at any point in time, again, clear. I'll make sure everybody is understand. At any point in time, you see my finger is always here. This is what you guys will do at all times when we're at the firing range. You're shooting. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have you pull the, the firearms gonna be down in front of you on the table. And I'm gonna say, shoot ready, stand by, and we'll go over all this here in a little while. And I say, oh, you're gonna grab your gun, pick it up, finger off the trigger. When you point it out, I'm gonna, we're gonna go through stance and how to hold the gun and everything. When you point it out, your finger's gonna be off the trigger until you're ready to fire that weapon. Mm -hmm. Got it? No matter what, do not put your finger on this trigger. This is one of the most common mistakes that people make. They grab the gun, they're like, do I fire this weapon now? Or I'm like, get your finger off the trigger. Like, yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> all right know your target and what's behind the backstop of your target that goes not only for the gun range <coughs> that goes for we're on the street you are responsible y'all didn't hear my little speech at the very beginning but you guys are responsible for your actions period we all are if you shoot bad guy comes up he's like give me your purse and you're like no i'll give him my purse i don't say boom and you shoot him Bad guy, you're in the right to shoot this guy. You shoot him, the bullet goes through him, hits grandma back here pumping gas. Guess where you get to go? You're going to prison because you just killed grandma back here pumping gas. that bullet and everything it does. That's right. Yeah. Until that bullet stops, you're responsible for it all the way through. So know your backstop. Know what's beyond your target at all times. This is going to be a mindset thing. We're going to talk about a little bit about mindset as well. Uh, mindset for you guys to think about from here on out now that you're going to be responsible gun carriers uh, from here on out and we'll go over that more in depth here in a little bit <clears throat> just as a class what do you think the major causes of accidents are checking on my don't do that <laughs> that would be a good uh major cause of an accident that's bad it's horrible i'm sorry sometimes sometimes i get a little overly because i'm used to I usually teach police officers. Right. They're like hard. I actually had to take some pictures out of here. <laughs> so I was like, this is a good one. And I was like, oh, no. Mel's <laughs> like this. <laughs> take that one out. I was like, are you sure? This is the one. Yeah, this is it. This is what it's 
She's like, they won't want to shoot. <laughs> you want to estimate us. <laughs> what are some major causes of accidents? Just throw some stuff out. What do you think? Not knowing. Negligence. Yeah? Yeah. Um, not knowing your weapon? Yes, not knowing your weapon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Inexperience. Yeah, not training. That's for sure. That's, those are. I'm still gonna go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> not treat it as it's yeah, loaded. Yeah. Yes. Right. Take them all as all as are loaded. That's what she's not doing. <laughs> How about think a little bit further into this? How about kiddos playing yes. around with them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being, being curious. Yeah. So those are some major causes of accidents. So so it all depends on who comes in your house and you ultimately you are responsible. If somebody comes in your house. I don't care if it's your house or not. They get your gun that you have all James bonded up underneath the gangster style, up underneath the, the, uh, the desk, and they're like, man, look at this. Boom, they shoot somebody else. Up. You're responsible. So just keep that in the back of your head. So the safest place for a gun is in a locked safe or a locked something where nobody else has access to unless they are meant to have access to that place. So. skill set that it takes it looks easy because I've done it a thousand plus times it looks really easy but whenever you're just beginning and you're trying it you're gonna be missing it and it's, it's gonna get ridiculous so just remember practice 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 and uh, and my train for life down here this has two meanings by the way just in case y'all see this train for life train for my life and your life and train for life keep training do not stop training continuous training uh, that's the only way you're gonna get better and keep up with your skills Ta -da, this is where we're going to go. So, uh, just in case you guys uh, don't have the address, it's, it's on the website. If you want to write it down, this is where we're at. If you have not signed this little cool little thing, um, you can write whatever you want on there. And I eventually will frame this and uh, have it. And, um, um, and that's that. So, we're going to head down there as soon as everybody leaves. All right, Val, what did you learn? I learned to breathe deep while the tip of the finger touches your sweet spot. What do you mean by that? Yes, and live, laugh, lock, and load. And live, laugh, lock, and load. How do you get the scan of the QR? Yeah, just pull a finger. Nervous. <laughs> Nerves are bad. I'm good. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs>
And you'll, you'll come up here like it's nothing. It's a pop and you gotta say that again. It's not that bad. <laughs> 